All right, guys, welcome to the second Disc Golf Disc review that I'm going to do on Disc Golf Weekly. Uh, like I said last week, this week's disc is going to be the Dynamic Disc. It's the Lucid Line Escape. Uh, it's a fairway driver, 172 grams. The ratings are 9 for speed, 6 glide, uh, minus 0.5 for turn, and then 2 for fade. And then what I'm going to be throwing it against today is going to be the Opto Line Striker from Latitude 64. Um, the striker is really old and really beat up, um, so it's going to be a little bit flippier than a normal Optoline striker is, um, but that's the closest disc that I have to throw it against to show you guys what it's going to do. Um, so I'm going to throw you guys over to some clips of me throwing it, and then I'm going to come back and talk to you guys about uh, what the disc does, how it feels, and whether or not it's in my bag. I'll see you guys back here in just a minute. Just to give you guys an idea of how consistent these two discs are and how similar they are, there's the striker, and there's the escape, and the basket is about 350 feet that way, and they're still only about 5 feet apart from each other. Alright, and again, here's the escape, and then about five feet shorter, there's the striker, and again, the basket's like 350, 375 feet that way, and they're still only about five feet apart. Alright guys, welcome back, and uh, as you can see in those clips, the two discs, the escape and the Optoline striker, um, that's what I was throwing it against, I'm not sure if I said that already, uh, they fly almost the exact same uh, distance wise at least um, there was a couple times there where you know I showed you how close they were landing and it was it was like that a lot of the time where it was you know within five or ten feet um, on like a 300 350 foot throw so you know they're they're very very similar discs um, the opto striker um, I've noticed with mine I can get it it holds a, a hyzer line better um, when it's new, at least mine's so old and beat up, it doesn't do it as well um, than the Escape. And then they're both very, very straight. If you just release it flat, you can make it, you can keep it flat if you don't throw it at max power. 
Um, so that they do about the same. But the the thing I love about the escape so much is how just how effortlessly you can throw turnovers with this thing. Um, I mean, I could throw it, you know, with just a little bit of Annie like that, and it'll just hold it and just stay and just ride it out until the end. And there were a couple of clips there where I did the same with the, the striker, and it would, you know, it would hold it, but then it would kind of come back and fade out at the end. Um, and for that reason, pretty much alone, uh, I'm going to put the escape in my bag. Uh, it, you know, I, I don't need another hyzer disc. I've got a couple that I can throw really easy hyzers with, but a thing I've been looking for for a while is a really nice turnover disc, and I've fallen in love with the escape. Um, it, it's just, the plastic is really nice, the glide is amazing, and, you know, the, the flight of it is just so nice. Um, you know, I can, if you throw with a little bit of hyzer, it'll pop up, and it'll just stay flat for the entire flight, and then just kind of fade out at the end. Um, so it's really nice if you're playing in the woods, um, if you need, you know, a tight, straight shot, uh, or if you need just a big turnover. I, I can't say enough about how easy it is to turn this thing over, and just how how perfectly it turns over. Um, the only, you know, it's not even a bad thing that I'd say about it is the, uh, the rating on it. The turn is a minus 0 0.5. And for me, I think I'd bump that up to a, a minus 1.0. Um, but I mean, it, it's so, it, <laughs> it's so nice. I, I can't say enough good things about this disc. Uh, the plastic is, it's similar to the opto plastic, Obviously, because Latitude 64 makes the dynamic discs, discs, um, but it's a lot grippier. It's not as grippy as the the Prodigy I did last week, but it is a lot grippier than a regular Opto or Champion. It's kind of similar to the the new Champion if you've thrown a Rock Three or a Turn, um, or if you're lucky enough you got a Shark Three or a Mako Three. Um, it's very similar to that plastic. Um, so yeah, like I said, this thing's definitely going in my bag. Um, I want to apologize. I had to film this in my car. Um, you know, we're, we're having work done on the inside of my house, so there's noise and people and stuff going everywhere. And, uh, you know, I figured I'd come out here so you can at least hear what I'm saying, uh, make it for a, a better video, I think. Uh, so, yeah, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. We're almost at the 10 subscriber mark. Uh, so once we hit that, I'm going to do a giveaway. Share with your friends. We'll get there faster. And then, you know, every... You know, every time, you know, maybe I'll do another one at 20 or something. Um, so, yeah, that's what I have right now. Next week, I'm going to try and do a course review at one of my local courses. But the majority of the courses around me are pretty much flooded. It's been raining here for almost a week straight, so I'm not guaranteeing that. Um, but hopefully that's what I can get for you guys. Uh, that's what I really want to do. I don't want to have to do three disc reviews in a row. It might get kind of boring, I understand. Um, so, yeah. I will catch you guys next week. Peace.